Today, we're going to be having a look at how to install a septic tank. And um, the reason I'm going to do this particular um, broadcast today based on this is because to many people, installing a septic tank can be a daunting task. Why? Well, let me show you. If you go on the internet and you just type in the word septic tank or tanks, you just get an array of information, tons and tons of it. You, you, loads of different tanks, loads of ways to install them, and loads of different soakaways, loads of different ways to install them. Ring a hundred com companies up, and they'll all tell you that their tanks are the best and their installation team are the best. And so uh, get our installation team in and we'll charge you, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 15,000 quid to install a septic tank. Well, the whole reason of today's broadcast is I want to show you that there's a really simple and easy way to install a septic tank. That's because technology's moved on. As you can see, there's tons of different tanks here. And, um, you know, obviously make your own mind up which system you want to go for. But I'm going to show you a system that works for me and that is working for many uh, uh, DIY um, folk on the market today. I say the DIY folk because many septic tanks have moved on technologically wise. You know, science has had a big input into septic tanks and how they're constructed and how they're installed now. And I just want to pass that information on to you. So let me just minimalize that and bring up this. Okay, so let me show you how technology has moved on. And so if you're looking to replace or install a new septic tank, if you're looking for a septic tank and soak away to install, have a look at this particular suggestion. As I said, this is one that I use personally, that many septic tank installers use, but most importantly, this septic tank and soak away that I'm about to show you is very, very popular in the DIY sector of the market. And you'll see why. All right. So, look, here we go. We've got a house here. And <clears throat> OK, so it's in the middle of the country. The point is it's not connected to mains drainage. So I want to show you how easy it is to install. And you'll see which septic tank and soak away I'm talking about in a minute and why I've kept it back till last. Okay, so here's your tank, uh, here's your house rather. Okay, now every house will have a soil pipe. So what that means is, you know, you've got maybe your bathrooms upstairs and downstairs, you've got your kitchen, your utility room, and so you've got showers and baths and washing machines and dishwashers, stuff like that. And it'll all, all that wastewater will um, go down a soil pipe. All right. So that could be anywhere. So let's pretend that's a soil pipe or the soil pipe comes here because I just want to keep this really simple. So the first thing you need to do, which is really simple, is just dig a trench. Dig a trench from the soil pipe. All right. From when all you, from where all your wastewater comes out from your property, simply dig a trench to that point. OK, it's as simple as that. Obviously, you need to determine where you're going to put your septic tank beforehand, but, you know, it's got to go somewhere. So just determine where you're going to put it. Once you've done that, dig your trench. So as simple as that. Then the next thing that you need to do is just dig your hole for your septic tank. OK, so let me do this. OK, so there you go. There is our hole for our septic tank. So let me just go, go in a bit. All right, that's pretty straightforward and simple so far, isn't it? So you've got your trench and you've got your hole for your septic tank. All right, now next what we're going to dig, in this instance, this is um, a, a modern way to install things. It's a lot easier than how it was done in the past. So let me, let me show you this. So then you dig another hole and you dig another hole. Now, if you want, so let me give you the extent of these holes. They're very, very shallow holes, okay? So to dig your trench, your hole for your tank, and these two additional holes probably take you, man alive, an hour, hour and a half, something like that. As you can see, they're very shallow holes, okay? So you're probably wondering, God, what, 
what septic tank is this guy going to use? Well, let me show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is if we just go back to our trench, I'm going to put the pipe in the trench. OK, so we can put the, the pipe in the trench because we can get our levels correct then. OK, so let me just zoom into here. So here, here you go. Here's a standard four inch pipe from the house leading into the hole where you're going to put your septic tank. All right. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? All right. Then the next thing to do is put your septic tank into the hole. So let me do that. Bam. Look at that. All right. So that's the tank in the hole. Now, let me just give you take away the grass here so uh, so we can see. All right. So that's what it looks like from the side view. All right. Now, if you're wondering what this bit is here, well, you'll see on the tank there, there's an outlet. All right. That's the outlet. All right. And so on that, you have an outlet pipe. All right. So all your wastewater is going to come out at this point. Oops. Just let me turn my phone off. At least, you know, we're live. Right. So here we go. So you've got your wastewater coming into the tank there and you've got your outlet pipe here. All right. Then. What you're going to do on that outlet pipe, you're going to put an inspection chamber. Now, that inspection chamber basically is what I call a German inspection chamber. It traps all the debris, such as sanitary towels, baby wipes, and um, bits of hair, carrot bits of food from the dishwasher, stuff like that. And to believe it or not, it even traps nappies. Yeah. So they're worth their weight in gold. They are really worth their weight in gold. Okay. So once you've done that, then it's time to do this okay so then what i do now this is what many of us do we put septic tank soak away crates into the hole that we've just made look at that all right now how easy is that now just got to say at this point these are not rainwater crates many people get confused between rainwater crates and septic tank soak away crates you can't use rainwater crates because the membrane's different but you can use septic tank soak away crates okay so there you go so you put your septic tank soak away crates in the hole and then all that you need to do now is you see there's no pipe there so we just put a connecting pipe now from there to the crates look at that and they literally just go in so you cut a little hole in, into the crate there you cut a little hole through here all right and just literally put the crates in insert it about a foot half a foot as long as it goes in there that's fine so that basically is what the septic tank and soak away look like so let me just put the grass back here all right this cutaway section just to show you in there so that's what it will look like all right, that's what it will look like once you've done it. And from there, it's really simple. So it's, it will have taken you about two hours to do this process up to here. All right. So next, all that you do is this. You cover the, pipe, uh, the, uh, the septic tank crates with membrane, like so. Then you cover it over with soil. All right, so let me cover it over with soil now. There we go. Then. You cover, put soil back around the inspection chamber there. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Then with these low profile tanks, which I'll show you a bit more about in a minute, you don't need any concrete with them. So you literally just backfill with some shingle around the tank. So the shingle is about 20 to 30 mil shingle, and it just goes up about three quarters around the side of the tank. And then you just cover the tank over, with soil, there you go, like so. And, and then all that you've got left is, look at this. Remember the trench that you dug first of all? And basically you just cover that in with soil too. And, and there you go. You've In three hours, you've put a complete septic tank and soak away system in. And that's how easy it is now to do one. And it isn't going to cost you six or seven or eight, nine, 10, 15,000 quid. Let me show you how much it will cost to get a complete septic tank and soak away system. All you need to do is go to septic, let me type this in, you go to septictank.co.uk, septictank.co.uk, all right? So let me show you, so septic tank, whoops. <laughs> oh, do you know what? everything's back to front on here, septictank.co.uk, there you go. So that's where it is there, okay? And here you'll see, it says there, 
um, septic tank and soak away kit. Okay, you just click on that. So it isn't, as I said, it doesn't, it does not going to cost you seven, eight, nine, ten thousand quid, fifteen thousand quid to put your own septic tank and soak away system in. Let me show you. Just click on the septic tank soak away kits there. And as you can see, there you go, one, four, nine, nine. That's what it costs to get the septic tank and soak away kit. Let me show you what you're getting with this septic tank and soak away kit. You get the complete kit, right? You're getting five times three meters of socketed pipe. So you don't need any connectors. They just literally slot together, okay? You're getting the German inspection chamber. You're getting the low profile septic tank, right? And you're getting the septic tank soak away crates, plus you're getting a hundred pounds worth of free membrane. And you get a free one meter riser with the septic tank. So there you go, that's my tip for the today. That's how to install a septic tank. And um, it really is easy now. So please, before, you know, if you're looking for septic tanks and soak aways and it's frying your head, it's like, oh, you know, and oh man, where do I start? That's a place to start. Just have a look. I mean, obviously, look around and ring around. I'm not saying not to do that. But if you re really want to make it simple, I've been doing this for 20 years. I just sell products that last for years and years. You know, they're good quality products. They are approved by the British government. They will, they got a lifespan of 100, 150 years. It's your great grandkids who will be replacing it next. They're really... Um, well priced so you'll save lots of money well we've just seen won't you you save three and a half four five six thousand quid and they take about three hours to install and you can just do it yourself or get your builder to do it so there we go i hope that's helped so that's how i install septic tanks these days that's how many people install septic tanks and so if you're new to the world of septic tanks or you're looking to replace or install your own septic tank then there you go that's how to install a septic tank